Internet. Today is Tuesday, March 9th, 2010, and today is such a special day because today we have so many stupid people. It makes me so happy. Then again, the world that we live in, I mean, it really seems like common sense is out of stock. You know, like we got a guy checking in the back. His name's Billy. He just started working here. It's probably not looking too good. One of the best examples of that is Lindsay Lohan, who today her lawyer announced that they're going to sue E-Trade for $100 million. One-tenth of what Viacom is suing YouTube. And they're suing because an E-Trade commercial that aired during the Super Bowl used Lindsay Lohan's likeness. And of course, by likeness, they mean a drunk baby named Lindsay. You know you've reached a special point in your life when you see a drunk baby on TV and you think, that's me. You know, and I think this whole thing is just Lindsay Lohan realizing what she's capable of. It's not like we're ever going to see a headline, Lindsay Lohan cures cancer, same as you'll never see Philip DeFranco breaks girl's cervix with giant penis. We all have our limitations. And honestly, the only time anyone's even talking about Lindsay Lohan is if people think that she's doing drugs, having sex with girls, or taking her clothes off for the camera. You know, essentially the career that we were hoping the Olsen twins would have. But all in all, this is just sad. Because the lawyer's case is that Lindsay is like Madonna or Cher, and that she's a one-name celebrity. When you think of Madonna, you think of Madonna. You think of Cher, you think of Cher. When you think of Lindsay, and that Lindsay is also an alcoholic, you think of Lindsay Lohan. So I guess if you stretch it, you do kind of have a point, because when you say Lindsay and alcohol, I think Lindsay Lohan, or my girlfriend the first night we met. So you could say that she's a one-name celebrity, except for the fact that she is a two-name celebrity. And in the United States, at one time, the name Lindsay was the 161st most popular name, which either means your point is moot, or if your name is Lindsay and you have a problem with alcohol, you need to sue E-Trade or something. There's probably a moral somewhere scattered in there. But jumping really fast to the people that matter the most. No, not Asians, you guys. But even more so if you're watching me and you're Asian. Wink. Yesterday's question was, what is the movie you are most excited to see this year? And there was a lot of Iron Man 2s and a lot of other stuff scattered in there. But a ton of you said Tron, which is pretty sweet because it just so happens that Tron released a new trailer. Here's a quick clip. The full trailer is pretty awesome, except I don't know what this guy's doing. Makes me slightly uncomfortable. I'm probably gonna lose some geek points, but I've never seen the original. I'm gonna watch it today. Main point being is that Jeff Bridges wins hella points, and yes, I did just say hella, for being in an Oscar movie, getting the Oscar, and doing Tron. Also, a quick update on a story we mentioned a few shows ago. Roy Ashburn, the senator that left a gay bar who has an anti-gay agenda, has announced to the world that he is, in fact, gay. And the reason he pushed the policies that he did was to make his constituents happy. And all jokes aside for Roy, I mean, big props to the man for being honest. Coming out and not trying to say he's gonna de-gayify himself for the public, so that people that would never really like the real him would like him. Now guys, in some other news, Mark Zuckerberg has recently come under fire. Mark, the creator of Facebook, has had an ongoing case against him by some people that said, hey, we had the idea first, you stole Facebook. Now the allegations seemed a little thin, a little wishy-washy. Some new emails and instant messages have come to light that may show Mark is a little shady. Some of it shows that he may have gone into people's Facebook accounts, broken privacy laws, and taken some information. Another set of back and forth seemed to show Zuckerberg stalling for time, not helping these people make their website so he could make his, saying that he was going to show them his website afterwards and say, hey, your website sucks, you want to join mine? And my favorite email that seems to pretty much sum it up is when his buddy asks him, well, have you figured out what you're going to do with the websites? Zuckerberg says, yes, I'm gonna fuck him. Probably in the ear. And with that, Mark might have just given these people the best thing ever. Something better than a website visited by more than 400 million people a month. Something profitable. And the last bit of news I want to talk about today is Roslyn Papa. Hey, Pop? Don't know how to say her last name. Doesn't matter. She was the blonde on The Bachelor this year that was kicked off because she allegedly hooked up with someone on the staff. So just there, you know what kind of woman she is, allegedly. But this morning, you guys slammed my mailbox with, Phil, have you seen this video? And I didn't read the subject line, so I was expecting a puppy. And boom! A girl was with a penis in her mouth. And you know, I watched it, but I was just, I was hoping the puppies would show up, but they never did. And apparently it's this Rosalind Papa sex tape. And you know, it kind of looks like her in the sense of all blonde girls on their knees with a penis in their mouth look the same. But ultimately, I don't think it's her, but you could be the judge if you want to Google it, because I'm not going to link you directly to pornography. Because I'm not a creep. Unless you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, which is essentially where I just link stuff and make dick jokes. And guys, I want to leave you with the question of the day today. What do you think is the best job in the world? And what do you think is the worst job in the world, and why? The text or a video response, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. But guys, that's everything that mattered to me this Tuesday. If you want to check out the stories, the videos, the galleries, even the very personal vloggity that I just posted. Check out those links in the description, expand it. But guys, as always, my name is Philip DeFranco, and you've just been filled in. I'll see you tomorrow.